Hello once again, nerds and nerdettes of the Nintendo Universe, Nerdio here back today with my first ever uh, 3DS hacking tutorial. Uh, there's a couple things I want to say before I get this tutorial started. Uh, first of all, this is going to be done on a 3DS XL, an original 3DS XL. Uh, this can work with the without the XL version of the original 3DS, but as for the new 3DSs, I am not sure. So I would say if you have a new 3DS, proceed at your own risk. But if you do want to be risky and play it, please do tell me if it works in the comment section below so I can update the title or put up some annotations right now saying, yes, this does work with new 3DS. Uh, also, there are various ways to get the homebrew launcher on your 3DS. The version I will be covering today is browser hacks, which is where you, e you use your internet browser or your uh, 3DS camera to basically hack your 3DS or access the homebrew launcher. Uh, so now that those things are out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so first thing you're going to want to do is click the first link in the description which will take you to uh, Smilam's GitHub page. It should look like this. This is the homebrew launcher website and this is where you're going to want to get uh, the first files you're going to need. Uh, so to get the file that you're going to want to need, which is the start the 3DS Homebrew Starter Pack, you're going to want to scroll all the way down to where it says preparing your SD card. Then you're going to click right here. I already have the file, so uh, I'm not going to download it, but you're going to click Homebrew Starter Kit, and then it will download a zip file called Starter. Uh, once you have that, we're pretty much already halfway done. Uh, so once you get that downloaded, you're going to want to go to where the file was downloaded, and you're gonna see this. Uh, when you see the starter folder, do not, I repeat, do not put the starter folder in your SD card. What you're gonna wanna do is go into the starter folder and get the folder called 3DS and boot.3dsx. Grab these two files and put them in your SD card. I'm not going to because as you guys can see, I already have them in here, 3DS and boot.3ds right here. And yes, this is my 3DS's SD card. So, that's pretty much it. You're going to want to get these two files, drag them, just, just put them on your SD card. Just put them on your SD card. You're not going to want to put them in any specific folders. You're just going to want to drop them in there. And that's really it. So that's pretty much all you'll need for the, what's it called? Um, that's all you'll need for the, it, I guess your computer, I should say. And actually right now I'm going to go ahead and swap to my 3DS capture card so this way you guys can see what we got to do on there. Alright you guys, so here we are at the 3DS. Now, I'm not sure if this first step is necessary. Uh, I highly doubt it is, just saying, but just to play things safe, I would recommend going into your internet browser and then deleting your cookies. If you guys don't know how to do that, just want to open your internet browser, click the settings icon, and scroll down until you see delete cookies. Uh, go ahead and click that if you guys feel like you need to, but again, I'm not sure if it's a necessary step. But what is necessary is this next step. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and put up a QR code. Uh, now what you guys are going to want to do is with, with this QR code is you guys are going to want to click LNR on your home menu and you're going to want to activate the camera and on the bottom left you will see a QR code scanner. Go ahead, tap that, and then scan the QR code that I give you. The bottom screen will say URL found, and then if you want to go to the internet browser. Go ahead and hit OK for both of those. It's going to take you to your internet browser, and your bottom screen is going to go ahead and just have a rave with a bunch of colors. Don't worry, this is very, very natural. Uh, this is all a part of the hack, so don't think your internet is, your 3DS is broken. It's all fine. Then you guys are going to see that flash for a second, and here you are at the homebrew launcher. Uh, now what you can do with this homebrew launcher is not very much, but you can still do quite a bit. Uh, what a lot of people mostly use the homebrew launcher for is, of course, emulators. And I will go ahead and leave a link in the description below on where you guys could get those emulators. Each, um, each one of those emulators has different instructions, but they all come with readme's on how you could properly install them so you can activate them in your homebrew launcher. 
Guys, this was the Homebrew Browser Hacks tutorial. If you guys like this video or it helped you, please do click that like button. If you guys want to stay more updated with 3DS or Nintendo news in general, please do click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. So until then, Nerdio is out.